Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Down to Earth. Today is just featuring me and Caleb as we talk about Caleb going to his first country concert as well as Trump's recent shooting incident, ESPN's top 151 list, and me getting my license suspended. So we hope you guys enjoy the stories and thank you for listening. I would do a country music festival. Oh, that, oh yeah. Was it the uh, cu- Country Thunder? Country order? Thunder. Could oh. you ever picture me going to Country Thunder? No. Who who enticed you to go? I, I went because my lady went. Okay. Um, okay. It was actually a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. I hate country music with a passion, but I actually ended up having a blast. I just, like, country country music live is very impressive because they just turn into a band yeah no that, that's the thing like me radio wise or anything like that you won't see me yeah you won't see me listen to country music no offense just not my thing but like it's different when you listen to it and watch it live yeah you're not just listening to music but you're listening you're watching the musicians play and yeah stuff like that i've always because in in the radio versions it's just them with some backtrack but in person they actually have to have a band and so i was very impressed yeah uh well, it was like country concerts uh the people there were interesting it's actually crazy like i don't know it's just weird groups of people like it's always funny to see like the girls who are there with their boyfriends who have their friend there but the like but they don't have a boyfriend there so like they mm. both like the friend acts like the her best friend's boyfriend hurt is her boyfriend too it's always very interesting to see it's also interesting to see like how much fat you can fit into a crop top <laughs> Bro, you, oh, you should go to the Rhythm and Roots. Bro. Oh. Where's that at? It's in Bristol, Virginia. It's this They do Rhythm and Roots here? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, they did it. I mean, they do it every year. This year is the first year where um not Ticketmaster, what's the other the one people that own Ticketmaster? Stubhub? No, I don't know. I thought Ticketmaster owned themselves. No, Ticketmaster is a, well, they joined they joined with another but it's, I mean, it, you might as well say it's Ticketmaster then, but they're they're the ones like taking control, organizing. Oh, Rock Nation? No, that's that's Jay-Z's label. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, it's something. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, Google, because it's going to piss me off, but I don't know. Live Nation. Live Nation. Live yep, Nation. Yep. Live Nation is handling Rhythm and Roots this year. So, oh, Live Nation has pissed a lot of people off. I mean, of course, because they they hold a monopoly of yeah. all like tickets and stuff like that, and like they they partner up with a lot, like a majority of the venues, like all the big venues here are partnered with them. So whenever an artist or whatever plays there, tick like Ticketmaster has all control over the ticket prices and stuff like that. Like it's either you you agree to our ticket prices. Or you don't play at our venue. Well, so, that's why so Zach it, Bryan. That's, yeah, that's why. Like, even though artists hate it, yeah, like, they have to. They yeah. have no choice. Well, I know Zach Bryan. He did that tour. It was like all my homies hate Ticketmaster, and apparently, like, I think there was still the like repos, but like, uh, I don't think a single ticket was over hundred dollars, which is impressive. Yeah. Um, I mean, they shouldn't. Fun, they shouldn't be though. No, heck no, they shouldn't. They concert sh- was very fun though. Uh, people get hammered at country concerts. Him, like the dude in front of me, and it getting, I mean, it was straight up domestic violence with his girlfriend. <laughs> and his friends had a home back, and then he ended up just wandering off. He got pissed at me because we were like, I tried, was trying to like get away from him, but he was like in my way, so I couldn't see because we were in the seating area, like, like still on the floor, but like with lawn chairs. Because mm-hmm. um, I tr- we tried the pit or whatever it's called, the standing uh, section, yeah. and I just I didn't care for I mean, I've like, I, I like them at rap concerts. But I kind of like I just want to sit there, especially because we were there all day. Yeah, yeah, you um, want, you want a seating, yeah, thing. So he was like standing at a right, but the thing is, he what was pissing me off is he had a cigarette and it kept on getting in my girlfriend's face, so that upset me. So then he like went to go get another beer. I mean, it was it was so many, and he came back, and he was pissed that we were in his way. And then, but he like almost fell. It was a whole thing. It was actually crazy. Mm-hmm. And then Bailey Zimmerman, one of the dudes performing. He had to like stop a fight that was going on right in front of him. It was it was crazy. Jesus, uh, I don't know. Like a freaking like that the the Dwight Yoakam show I did. Like 
they want it to turn it into a festival mm. because it for sure as heck can't be just a one day thing every year. Granted, it was cool seeing El King and that stuff. Oh, you, El King was there. Yeah. You saw El King? Yeah. Did you meet her? No, I I, I saw her backstage pl- like playing with her kid while they were getting cool. still ready for That's the fun. show. Yeah, they were getting they're playing, and then her kid got on the stage with her and kind of just sat around and stuff. She's technically country music, right? Yeah, no, yeah. Tech, I think X's and O's is like the only kind of normal See, song. See, that's the only song I knew of her. Yeah, and then yeah, I that's, found I, out she played at a bunch of stuff around here for like country stuff, and I was like, what? Yeah, I, I didn't know who she, I didn't know who L King, like I didn't know her yeah. name. I just, I knew the song, and then I was like, who's L King? And then why do people hate her? Because <laughs> apparently- People hate her? A lot of people hate her. Why apparently. do people hate her? I don't know. Be- like, I think she herself was saying like- a lot of like some of the production people and stuff like that, like they were like saying, like I'm surprised no one's booing her. No, like I guess, yeah, I guess she's got some controversy or something going on. I don't know. Can you look it up? Yeah, I'll probably look. Okay, it up. I'm curious about this. I'm like, why do people hate El King? Do you see the sketch controversy? Sketch. You know, who, you know who I'm talking about. No. Oh, the 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 what's up brother guy. Oh no, I don't. I don't look up that what? kind of stuff. I don't care what 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 what's happened to him. He used to be a gay OnlyFans star. Why is that controversy? I don't. I, I'm not pissed about it, but people are pissed about it. <laughs> what is that? If he matter? wants to do gay porn, he can do gay porn. I'm, I'm sure there's great money there. It's not like he's. It's not like he asked himself. It's not like he asked to be put in the position that he is. He just got popular because people like to meme on shit. It's not his fault. But he's done a lot of like meetups with like famous like female models. So it's interesting. And then, but he like, yeah, you have like a gay OnlyFans. Uh, where he would like not, wear uh, makeup and stuff. So they're, they're angry because they're not him. I don't know. I, I don't think people are, I don't know if people are, I don't, I haven't looked into it a bunch. I don't think anyone's mad, but they're just like, it's like kind of like, you know, Jerry McCain. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, like, hey, how he like paints his nails? I like Jerry McCain. I don't have an issue with it because obviously I'm a Duke fan. But because uh, he's known as TikTok boy, they they found a TikTok of him. He apparently was deleted or something, but he was wearing a dress. So oh. you know people, you know people are. Oh yeah, well I mean Tennessee people here hate that kind of stuff, considering the fact that they banned drag shows here. Yeah. Um, but I see this now that apparently, um, she did a family friendly show in Do- for, well, it was supposed to be family friendly for Dolly Parton's seventieth birth seventy eighth birthday. Mm-hmm. And she did a drunk performance. Oh, like, and so you would you could see why people yeah. in Tennessee might hate her. But but nobody I, there, nobody there booed. Everyone just cheered. No one there cared. But never would I care enough to boo you because you messed up Dolly Parton's birthday. It's Dolly Parton, bro. I don't care. Well, but because you're not a you're not a true Tennessean. You're right. I I lived there for. Three years. I don't. Tennessee is the worst state I ever lived in. I mean, you're not. I mean, it's the only state I've lived in, and it's the worst state I've lived. I've in. lived in four, which is not. A, I mean, it's not a ton. I mean, but it's, it's enough for me to me. know what I like and what I don't like. And what I don't like is Tennessee. Mm. I, um, mean, I don't blame you. I I, mean, I I just said I want to move from Tennessee, so well, I can't sure. say anything. Speaking of drunken performances, did you see the MLB All Star National Anthem? Uh yeah, I, I she, saw that. I yeah, saw that. She yeah. apologized because she was drunk. Yeah, why? Are, like, they okay. ranked there as like one of the top ten worst. Um, it was worse than Fergie's. Oh, I don't geez. know. I don't honestly. I couldn't say it was worse than Fergie's because Fergie's was bad. But my thing is like, why? Like, this is such a huge moment. Like, why are you showing up hammered she, for it? You know, like, she was probably just like pre gaming and shit like that, and got carried away with the moment. Yeah, and then she just realized like, oh fuck, I'm pretty drunk. I mean, but people show up the concerts but, all the time hammered. I mean, yeah, but at the same time though, like. You should you should know how to be a professional and be like I'm about to perform yeah, the national is- anthem on live television on one of the biggest um sh- like games or whatever like that because it is yeah and yeah you should know how to be a professional and hold off yeah. on that until after you're done what you're supposed to do at the end of the day if you're doing something for money it is a job you mm-hmm. can't show up to your drunk to your job drunk I mean we've seen it firsthand people get fired for that. <laughs> Especially when you tell other people that yeah. was my breast milk. It's so like when like I know my dad went to go see Jeff Dunham because he used to be a huge Jeff Dunham fan. Oh, I love Jeff Dunham when I was in like yeah. kid. And he went to go see him. And my mom, when they were married, my mom got him tickets. It was like this whole thing. He was super excited, like hyped. And Jeff Dunham showed up plastered. And apparently it was the worst it was just the worst show of all time. I mean, 
there's been and like even at class that I went to, some of those dudes were they're hammered. Like it's a job. Like there's having fun and there's like do cool things, but like if it's what you're doing full time, it's a job. You don't show up hammered to a job. Yeah. Exactly. Whether you are a priest or you're a funeral home director or you are bartender. A bartender or if you are a a singer or a professional football player, you don't show up hammered. Good athletes stay generally stay away from just alcohol in general and stuff like that. Uh, not Jack Grealish. I mean, I said good athletes. So, um. <laughs> Roger was pretty hammered last night. You see that whole thing about him calling out Giblatar? Giblatar? Oh, Gibraltar, you mean? Did I pronounce that that bad? Gib- <laughs> Gibraltar. The thing, Gib- I'm a very Gibraltar. Like, culturally aware like i love researching other places in the world that was a screw up right there <laughs> Gib- 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 i was reading i've read this whole gibraltar that makes all my sense okay well gibraltar he called out because apparently it's part of spain mm-hmm. and then uh was it Kuk- who was it that said he played no it wasn't a Kuk- it was someone who i forget who it was but they were like mate you playing you playing england <laughs> yeah I mean, Gibraltar is one of those countries that even England could beat them like 5-0 under the South game. I think they purposely schedule. Everyone purposely schedules against Gibraltar. I mean, how many goals does Cristiano Ronaldo I mean, against Gibraltar, Lithuania. That's also, that's a Euro team, right? Lithuania? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I was making sure. But yeah, and yeah, there's a, there's, and there's a lot of them. Um, Trump got shot. Yeah, I was going to bring that up. Like... I'm not into politics. Me either. I'm. I don't want somebody to be killed or anything like that. But I don't care. <laughs> my I, mom. My mom has never been like over the top liberal before. She's always been very in the middle. But oh my, she. I was with her this weekend. She was so annoying about it. the whole time. She was like, "He did it. He planned it. He had someone shoot himself." And I'm like, "She. She. Like every five seconds, I'd be like, like I swear to God, I could literally find something that said the." Like CNN could publish something saying the Biden administration is the one who tried to kill Trump, and she would go, "Nope, nope, nope. This is what exactly Trump's plan. This is Trump's plan." No, like, and I was, well, I was like, "Just shush." Well, the, guy, the guy, the guy who shot at him was a registered Republican, so that See, takes out a that. lot of that takes out that says a lot, and that takes out a lot of other conspiracies. But I mean, it's it's freaking America, bro. Anybody around here has guns, like. You shouldn't be surprised with how much Trump actively tries to put people. He's outside on. all the time. Yeah, he's out all the time. He's constantly antagonizing a lot of people. You shouldn't be surprised that someone's gonna eventually take action. I'm surprised it took this long. I, that's what I'm saying. I'm surprised it took this long. I, or like something happened. See, the thing that confuses me is that there's that report where like the police found the guy on the roof and then they backed off and then that's when he shot the shots and then the sniper took like. So it's very interesting. Like, obviously, there's someone... Obviously, that that dude did not wake up and go, oh, I'm going to go assassinate Trump. Obviously, there is something in play. But, like, there's something in play with everything when it comes to the United States government. Yeah, that's Every, Like, that's the thing, is, like, none of us can figure it out. And they we're never going to figure it out. And if you do try to figure it out, you're going to get killed, and they're just going to say someone else did it. So... I don't know. I just the picture. Okay, whether you are a Republican or a Democrat, the picture is kind of badass though of him. Yeah, I saw that. Like when I saw him, like doing the fist bump, I'm like, oh my god! You can already see all yeah. the articles, the pictures. It's that everywhere. Doing. Like every like, I'm like, I'm gonna have to stay off of social media for even the next like week. liberal celebrities are going are like are like, oh, I'm gonna vote for him now. Like Logan Paul, like posted well, Logan that picture. Paul's a fucking idiot. So, but. I don't, it's just... It's it's stupid, yeah, I know. And that's why, like, a lot of people, like, he's gonna get president now because oh, of this incident. The it's, thing that pisses me off is that they're taking, they're talking so much shit about the Secret Service worker who was a woman. <laughs> and yeah, like, she didn't do a great job, but the person who literally was in front of him and it was, like, the first person to dive on him was also a woman. So they, like, I don't follow any political accounts except for a couple. Mm-hmm. And it's all, all the comments are she needs to be fired she needs to be fired like why like and then i'll see some that say why are we not talking about the woman who actually did her job why is it about gender because clearly like i'm a grown man and i know for a fact if someone's shooting me i'd probably duck down i don't care if i signed a piece of paper (laughs) i mean yeah you're supposed to you're supposed to put your body on the line for him yeah 
but I mean, depending on who you are, if she could be a mother and stuff like that. And yeah, like, I don't know if I can put my body on line for anyone that is not blood related to me yeah. or I'm dating. Yeah, me too, which is why like, I'm not I have to love this. that person. Yeah. And those people are paid to love that person. <laughs> but the person who got shot behind him, that sucks. Mm, yeah. He was like 51 and protecting his family and everything. I, it, it sucks. You I, know who You know who was probably behind the gun though? What? Darwin Nunes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hate on him. Freaking, I, I will say, that's funny because, like, you know where I work. Yes. It's oh, not, what was that? What was the environment like after that? Oh, my God. Everyone was like, oh, my God. And then the dude that I was working with, because who's one of the new people, older guy, he yeah. was like, just talking like shit. Like, they should drag that guy behind a truck and drag him across the streets or whatever like that. And I'm just like... He already got shot. He's already dead. Yeah. Like, he's already dead and everything like that. But, like, people were talking to me about it. And I'm just like, bro, you're barking up the wrong tree. I'm one of the last people you should be telling me about the injustice for Trump. I, like, as somebody who just, like... Like, I'm not into politics, like yeah. I always say. So, I don't really care. So, I just didn't say anything. But, like, this is an extreme metaphor. But it's like... Talking to a Jewish guy during World War II is like, can you believe they killed Hitler? Yeah, yeah like, yeah. like it's somebody who it's this is somebody who antagonizes my race every single day. He's on TV, and I mean, I'm just like, I don't know how you expect me to feel sorry for him. Hey, I don't expect you to feel sorry for him. Yeah, so like, if I got, like, sh- but like I said, like I know I'm not asking for him to be actually be killed, but like I don't care. If I got shot at, would you care? I well, yeah, if would you got care? shot, I would, you. yeah. Would you kiss my ear better? Yeah, I would. Okay. I, I'll, I'll, I'll sew it myself. I'll sew it back myself. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering what the environment was like because you know, people you know were what would be crazy though. Is it still there? Well, he was there, and he was. She's the one that said it over the radio. I was like, but he's he's a hero. He still got. He's still fist bumping. He's like, he's still he's on his legs. Like he's okay. Everybody, thank God. I'm just like, I don't think you should really be saying that over the radio. <laughs> Not in a workplace. Not at a workplace. So, like, uh, uh, granted, a majority of the people there are probably, like, yeah, but I feel like the younger, some of the younger people, like, Will was there that day, too, and I think he was probably just kind of carry LSD yeah. there. But, yeah, I'm just like, mm, okay. Yeah. And then there's, there's so many customers, too, that, that came in that day or the oh next my day. Oh, my like, Can you believe they shot Trump? And I'm just like, yeah, it's crazy. But I was in a Dollar General that day in North Carolina, and all it was... There was this like this crazy dude, and he was just screaming to the Dollar General cashier while there was a line so like out the store about how veterans are the least protected government workers and stuff like that, all because of the Trump shooting. Did you see what Jack the the whole Jack Black thing about it? No, because uh, you know he has that band Tenacious D. Yeah. Um, at one of his concerts, his like, I don't I don't really keep up with Jack Black, so like, yeah, I, don't I know really, the story, yeah. but like I'm probably gonna butcher it. But he, the person he does the show with, like his co-host or whatever, oh, the co-host, made a yeah. joke and he was like, uh, if I had one wish, it would have been that like the bullet actually killed Trump or something like that. Yeah. He canceled the rest of his show and turned off all his Instagram comments because he's getting so... Like, if you go through Jackpot's Instagram comments right now, even though it's limited, he still has 2,000 comments saying, how dare you wish for someone to be dead, like all this stuff. And he canceled his, he canceled his tour because of this. He canceled his full-on tour. Jesus. But people are just talking about how he's like a devil worshiper and stuff like that. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I could see him saying that as a joke one day and then people took it seriously because yeah. Yeah, that's how people are. But, I mean, Jack Blacks, he's he's that dude, though. That's all I'll say. I yeah. don't really care. I never really found... I mean, I don't care about his politics, but like, I honestly like, just never liked see, the movies. Like, <laughs> if people are sensitive about that, then they should see all the jokes and memes people are already making about the Trump shooting. Yeah, I know. Like I, I would show you. I'll sh- uh, after the episode, I'll show you a picture that some literally somebody posted this picture literally like twenty minutes after he got shot. Work fast. Yeah, they were fast. But like I'll show you, it's like it's one of those brain rot things. I'll show you. <laughs> but it's it's fun. I, just, I see some of the videos and like some of the videos and stuff like that's pretty hilarious. Like there's this like this dude with like cerebral pros like a, a cerebral dude with a cerebral palsy. I think I don't know how to pronounce it. That's also like, sh- like a dwarf. Yeah, and like cerebral cerebral palsy and dwarf. I know. My God, it's a combo. I thought I had a rough life. 
but he's a com- he's a comedian though yeah and he's impressive. pretty popular on like x and stuff like that and then he made a video where he was the shooter and like this is how the oh shooter was <laughs> it shows him like he, they like they cropped him into where the roof where the shooter was and he's holding like a nerf gun <laughs> and he's like he's like shit i missed <laughs> where the best comedians are comedians with disabilities because there's this uh uh, comedian called he's like the cripple threat and <laughs> his hand like he i can't remember either his hands are like i think he doesn't have hands like he doesn't have arms and but he's very active on social media and i've always wondered how so he was on my own america's got talent like, that's the, true the waste text. but like he he was on america's got talent that's how i found him and uh i one of his posts on instagram i commented and i said how the hell did you post this if you don't have hands and he replied to it and he said he said it was easy i was typing it out while i was banging your mom and i was like okay you're like damn you got me yeah i was like i I, I really commented back i was like you got me good buddy i was like i was like 16 the time i showed my mom and she thought it was so funny (laughs) but still i still do not does he type with his nose or what does he do what does he like oh. hit po- cause hit post with I mean, his nose? I mean, surely by now he probably has someone to do it for him. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, just sex to speed and but you know, one of the most impressive things I've saw was somebody with no hands, literally nubs on their hands, handling a gun at the gun bar. Yeah, I sold him a gun and he had like nubs and he's just like well, like it's like it's like he didn't have hands, but he had like the, the bones. Like two mm-hmm. bones like that that he could like move around. So he's got a like trigger that. finger. I I guess. But I feel like that should be an important question on the question there. He doesn't have he doesn't have, have hands. He doesn't have hands. Either hands. He just has like two little nubs on the ends of each that he was able to move around and stuff. But he was like holding the gun, cocking it back and stuff like that, doing it faster than I could with my normal hands. I'm like I was just watching him like damn this it's, guy. It's kinda like that video of that dude with no hands playing FIFA with his feet. <laughs> Except for the gun. Could you imagine him just on the ground, like pulling a gun? Yeah. <laughs> if you get killed by someone who doesn't have hands, and you get you shot by someone, it. you deserve it. Right? You, <laughs> you deserve it. That's just Yo, sad. You, you unproved Darwinism, right there. <laughs> um, one more thing, and we'll get to the ESPN list. Did you see the ESPYS? Do you know what the ESPYS are? Yeah, they're the ESPNs. Yeah. Um, awards. So the the award award for courage i can't remember exactly what it's called but it's the award for courage but it was given to this dude who was a football player for like six or seven years i know he played for the saints he was jacked and the reason he got the award is because he has als do you know what that is yeah it's that thing with the head it scares the crap out of me because i saw him literally not even i was going through his everything i was looking up also about him going through instagram and stuff it wasn't even like his wife was pregnant recently wasn't even all that long that he was a fully functioning human being and now when he accepted the word his son accepted it for him which was cool Mm -hmm. um and he couldn't even speak he was in a power chair controlling it with his brain waves so the fact that like that scared the crap out of me the fact that disease can make you like that especially someone who was a little nfl player Mm -hmm. scared me i mean yeah i mean this is like ALS became a big thing with the bucket challenge. Yeah, I remember I did like that, that as a kid. Yeah, me too. I did it in high school. <laughs> I but... was in elementary school. Old man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm feeling it. I'm I'm getting I'm starting to feel it. It's coming in slowly. Hey, I turned twenty one soon. There you go. Yeah. Almost there. When when is it? September. Oh, okay. Pretty close. I can't wait to gamble all my money away. You can gamble. What do you have to be twenty one to gamble? Yeah. I you had to be 21 to do Oh, yeah, they did. They did. I got to be 21 that, to buy yeah. cigarettes. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, they, I'm an avid smoker. Yeah, it's for real. I know the people. That's why I don't know. <laughs> you uh, you want to get to the ESPN list? Sure. Let's go ahead and get Well, we only it. have until 51. Uh, yeah. Well, which is very frustrating. I wish they would just not draw it on. I mean, the literal Olympics is going on and are about to go on, and they need to make would, a list yeah, of all the top 100 athletes. It's not like they're milking for content. I mean, God forbid, Bronny James is in the NBA now. You would think they have something to post about. I mean, they. you know how many crap... Bro, I can't... Like, literally every game, anytime Bronny gets laid up or some shit, I always get an ESPN notification. Like, I don't give a shit. What? He's his, not... Like, you can't... Like, they're putting so much of this BS pressure on him. Like, when there's like... Yeah, LeBron started it because he's the one I was like, oh, he's good enough to be in the NBA already when he was like in his second year in college yeah. or whatever. 
So LeBron's the ones that started it, but like you don't got to keep posting all this shit just to get him more hate. <laughs> well, he hasn't made a single 3. He's 0 for 13, oh either 0 for 13 or 0 for 16 from 3 in summer league. And last night I had a a 6-year-old homeless dude hit three three-pointers in my face. What's the issue, Bronny? <laughs> What's the issue? <laughs> well, he had a a heart attack or something. You know, I mean, he was a homeless dude. How you know how many issues he may have? Well, I mean, the, the you know what they say, he's living on the streets made him tough. He was a super nice guy actually. Super duper nice guy. Um although Brandy's block on JD Davidson last night wasn't bad. To be fair, it was a floater and even I could have blocked it cuz JD <laughs> Davidson is very short. Um it was impressive. You know his defense isn't bad though. I think he's going to be a good like he's a good player. Well, yeah, well, I think I think people are expecting him to play exactly like LeBron does, which I don't think he will. Like not that type of shooter and sh- Bryce stuff is like better. That. Yeah. All right, let's go through the list. All right. Well, guess can you we go to the bottom. Start. Yeah. Go so, to what number was it one hundred or ninety nine? It's it gonna be one hundred. Who's one hundred? Charles football player. Wilson, yep. I don't have a clue who that is. Me neither. You got Ed Reed. I know who that is. Uh, dude was so scary. He would always just wear like all black and like have a black face mask. I think that's him. Maybe yeah. it was the other Ravens player. I don't know. You know, football two thousand and four set an NFL record returning returning an interception for one hundred and six yards for a touchdown. How the hell do you go one hundred and six yards on a hundred yard field goal? Oh, maybe he caught he it at caught the it at their end zone and then ran oh. up all the way at their other end zone. They got a hot Connor player. McDavid. He actually is a beast. He um. Oh, yeah, they yeah. didn't win it this year, but he still ha- got uh, I forget what it's called, but like Finals MVP. Even though he was like the only the second player in history to not be on the winning team, but still get Finals MVP. Very impressive. Dude's a beast. Yeah, cricket, cricket player. player. Ninety-seven. Hey, did you see the whole USA cricket stuff? I saw they went uh, to the World Cup for it. Like yeah. it's like very hard. I think only eight teams qualify because mm-hmm. they beat uh, Saudi Arabia. Like they upset Saudi Arabia, and uh, then there was some forfeit thing. And I saw an article about that. Yeah, when I did see when it, I saw a notification with it, did it talk about how yeah. there was a yeah. Well, I mean, hopefully they do good. I don't really expecting them to win, but they they already lost. Pretty sure pack or India won. I mean, because uh, they yeah, India's yeah. I think they had a million people show up to their parade. Or something I don't know. I mean, what are all Indians doing? I mean, it's a little. It's a very small, compact country. Yeah, I saw. It, the whole it was like literally a million people there, and I saw a comment. It was like, uh, "Imagine the smell." Oh yeah, no, I and like they don't bathe, they don't have like bath mm-hmm. there and stuff. I mean, they a lot of them, a lot of cities they end up bathing in the rivers. Zlatan, yeah. Um, I mean, in his prime, he was a dog, and he played till very old. He played till very old, and he was still scoring very good goals even at that age. Yeah, but. The thing is, though, like he really never because, won anything. Exactly. Well, that's what I was gonna say. The thing is, because he never won anything. That's the issue. He, I just, he self proclaims himself as God, and he, but he never won anything. Is what I'm curious about. He would leave a team, and then they win. It's very interesting. Yeah, that's true. Well, because he's he's not a team player. I don't think. Ronaldinho being this low at 94. I mean, he ruined his own career, so he has himself to thank for for that. Still, the talent. He, the talent insane. was there, but like that's what I'm saying. Like. You win a Ballon d'Or. If you win a Ballon d'Or, you should be much higher. Yeah. Because only, in the 21st century, only like four people won the Ballon d'Or. And he was one of those people. Mm-hmm. A-Rod, Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, I mean, he's a good talent, but he's only ruining his Super images. Bowl, yeah. Uh, you think he's even going to play this year? Uh, he's going to play, but it's how how long or how much he'll play. He I could, don't know. He could get injured in the freaking camps. Maybe that's why he didn't decide to attend them. <laughs> yeah. I don't Angel know. He should just go back to hosting Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> Did he do that? Yeah, for a little bit, yeah. Oh, damn. He should then. You know, I'm assuming Tiger Woods would probably be in the top, pretty close to the top then. Yeah. If they got some golf people here. Ronaldo Nazari. R9 yeah. at number 87. I could see him being better than Ronaldinho. But I could see him be better than 87. That, no, did he win a Ballon d'Or? He, yeah, I think What's he his, did. Can you read his accolades? Yeah, two-time FIFA World Cup winner. 
two-time Ballon d'Or winner, two-time Copa America winner, three-time FIFA World Player of the Year, Golden Ball winner for the 98 World Cup, and Golden Boot winner for 2002 Men's World Cup. Okay, so much higher than 87. Yeah, very much higher than 87. Like, I mean, he... There are some people who proclaim that he's better than Cristiano Ronaldo. No. So, the fact he... Hold on, who's, who's right above him at 86? Venus Williams. Venus Williams. Come on. Who, okay, who's the 85? Who's the 85? Kawhi, Kawhi Leonard. Leonard. Okay, okay. Kawhi had a great career. Uh, what career on the infirmary? Yeah. To be, okay. At the Now, it's comparing. I, I hate... See, the thing I hate is when you compare athletes from totally different sports. Yeah. It, like, if this was top 100 basketball players or top 100, like, whatever. Yeah. I could... We could... It would be much easier to talk about. I mean... Kawhi Leonard, yes. Uh, is he two time champion or three time champion? I can't remember. He's he's two time final two time two time champion two time champion six time All Star. One of those was with the NBA. Raptors, which is insane. But to be fair, when they won it with the Raptors, everyone on the Warriors was hurt except for Steph. Um, but okay, who is that chick? Lauren Jackson. What the hell did she do? Two time, better than R nine. Two time WNBA champion, twenty ten in Finals MVP, three time Olympic silver. One time bronze. Weren't there like eight teams in 2010? I think so. And you're telling me three time WNBA MVP, <laughs> the defensive player, seven time all in WNBA, two time WNBA defensive first team, basketball Hall of Famer. Listen, we here are very huge advocates of women's sports. Mm-hmm. I love women's sports. I've been applying to jobs in women's sports, but she should not be above R9. Two t- two Ballon d'Ors, two World Cups, should automatically like. I mean, come on. Hey, Chris Paul, Chris Paul, I saw Chris that. Paul, who's Chris never Paul. won anything. I saw that there. I'm like, why is he here? I love Chris Paul, but Wait, the second he stopped he? throwing lobs to Blake Griffin, I couldn't yeah, care is. less. Yeah, like, like he was useless at the Rockets. <laughs> I remember yeah. that. And I was like, oh, fuck yeah. We got Chris Paul, him and James Harden. They can finally win. Nope. Didn't fucking happen. He took a young OKC to the playoffs, which is impressive. And he's with the Spurs now. It's a train. Oh, okay. I was yeah. wondering what that. I thought that was something different. <laughs> I was like, what is that noise? I forget about that. Um, we got a gymnast. that gymnast? Here. Yeah. I don't mind that. Seven-time Olympic medalist. Gymnast is as hard as hell. So. Three-time Olympic gold medalist. Six-time individual all-around world champion. That deserves to be on this list. I'm just impressed that they're even putting soccer players on this list. That's Because usually when, like, especially first take, like, Mad Dog or Stephen A, when they do a list, and they'll be like, top five greatest duos of all time in all sports. It'll be... I just mean, all basketball players. All basketball players. Yeah. Or, or, like, And it'll be one, one quarterback and a wide receiver or something. They'll do Babe Ruth and whoever else over, <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, how many soccer duos can we come up that are much better? Yeah, I mean, Messi and Suarez together eh. would be good. Eh. I'm thinking more like Lewandowski and Lamine Yamal. <laughs> Duos, but... <then. laughs> I'm thinking like... I would think more of like Lewandowski and Thomas Muller. How about PK and Poyle? That would be a good duo. Well, yeah, that's a fantastic that, 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 duo. There there. No one ever talks about that duo. Exactly. Or the duo um, Puyo and Rafa Marquez <laughs> before PK went back to Barcelona. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the best Mexican player, sadly. It's sad that your best, the best Mexican player was how long ago? Yeah, and a center back. Uh, <laughs> well, your boy Chucky Lozano, he's in America now. Well, oh yeah, he, yeah. after talking about he, he'll never play for the MLS, that if he, he, he put in an interview <laughs> that if he were to go back to the Americas, he'd play for Liga and Mackey's. And then, like two months later, he's, pl- he's going to the MLS. Why is the MLS all star against Liga MX again? Thought we hated that format. It's so boring. I do not care. It's money. That's all. I don't. Do. I just don't like. I loved when they played Bayern, when they played Arsenal, when they played Juve. I mean, but now, like, I just don't care. Uh, what number is Bryce Harper? Although Andy is that Andy Murray? Mm, yeah, beast. E eighty and Bryce Harper seventy nine. Bryce Harper is. I don't like baseball, but I really like Bryce Harper. Two time MVP. He's just such a cool dude. Few of the year, seven time All Star. I should not know, be that really, high up. I don't really slightest. know baseball accolades, so I don't really know how to rank Dang, them. If only we had Ian, he could tell us. Yeah, sad. R.I.P. I'm kidding. Yeah. 
But um, Bernard Hopkins, he better not be the only boxing player and he boxing guy. <laughs> you know, Jason Tatum better be on this list. I think he's too young, though, to be on here yet. I don't think he's yeah. really had a full career yet to really be on I here. I don't know. But then again, they've had a bunch of people here who yeah. like shouldn't be on Javi here. Javi Hernandez? Yeah, he, mm. he should be higher up. Mm. Should be much higher up. Yeah. He, I mean, he, like... Like was that Manny Pacquiao? Five, yeah, that's funny. That's surprising. But five right below Iniesta. I do not, and they slide think Iniesta should be that low. I'm curious. Do you think Busquets will be on here? Probably. He probably might be in the top fifty. He yeah. should be. He. Sh- I mean, if he's not here yet, he should be. On- he should be on the list in general. Like, yeah. Whether it be above <laughs> top fifty or whatever, like that, he should be on the list because he I was part of that core. Yeah. Midfield. I just. It, He's still playing. I just wish the whole 100 was on. Jason Kidd, go through his accolades. Uh, 75th anniversary team. I don't know why that matters. Basketball Hall of Famer, 2011 NBA champion, eight-time All-Star. So he just won once? Yes. I like Jason Kidd, but he still should not be that high up. Four-time assist leader. Um, The 75th anniversary team is actually a really huge deal because it means you're one of the top 75 greatest players to ever play in the NBA in history. Okay. It says, if not for Shaquille O'Neal or Tim Duncan and the Lakers and Spurs dynasty of the early 2000s, Kidd might have had another championship. Well, it sounds like he wasn't good enough. I then. always hate that That um, if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for, like, the, the, like then he's not good enough then. Yeah. If you take out the best players, then they those players aren't good then. Exactly. So if someone, if some, if you have to say, if it wasn't for this person, then clearly that person is better than you. Phil Mickelson is my boy. Well, this, yeah, then, I met him one time. Yeah, James this, Harden. J, this is the, the biggest one. James Harden, number 20, 67. We're talking about Jason Kidd. This motherfucker shouldn't be on, anywhere prime, on this list. Prime James Harden. Prime was James Harden. Insane. Yes. But if you have never won anything. Oh, but he's in the 75th anniversary team. But still, if you have never won anything, you're telling me someone who has never won anything. And literally traveled every single play to get a foul call is 20 spots higher up than a two time Ballon d'Or, two time World Cup winner. I'm telling you, ESPN does this shit. For I mean, clicks. he's also above a World Cup winner, two time European Championship winner, four time Champions League winner, nine time La Liga winner, Ballon d'Or runner up. ESPN, I swear to God, they do this stuff for views. Of course they do. Interactions. John Jones. And Mbappe. then killing Mbappe being that low. Well, the, but the thing is, he's well, he's twenty six now, twenty four. Okay, what? Okay, can you look up what even is the twenty first century? Twenty first century is after two thousand. Is it? Yeah. So twenty first century will go all the way till twenty one hundred. Yeah, and then it goes to twenty second century. I never knew that. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, so is there anyone since two thousand? So okay, but to be fair, I agree. As much as he is good, as good as he is in international club, he's done. Late winning league one was it seven times? Yeah, but I don't it, care. I mean, also like this. Well, the past World Cup he carried France. This Euros he was absolutely useless. Granted, you could use the excuse because he had a broken nose or whatever like that, but he was useless. Granted, yeah. the entire France team was useless, but they were a letdown. I, yeah. was, I swear they were going to win it. It's funny because the the two, they were, England and them were the two favorites to win the dirt championship, and they arguably played the worst football in the entire championship. England was just so atrocious. Sho, okay. Shohei, who also has never played a playoff game, is actually insane that he's up. And I like Shohei Otani. Three-time All-Star. The only reason I say that is because I saw an Instagram comment that said that. That's the only reason I know that. <laughs> Ray Lewis. Oh, that's the one I was talking about that's scary. Yeah, yeah. he's got all the, all the black paint right yeah, there. He's yeah, he's actually so cool. Hall of Famer, 12-time Pro Bowler, 8-time First Team All-Pro, only player with 40 sacks and 30 interceptions since sacks became official. That's actually insane. Candace Parker. I don't really know much. I don't mind Candace Parker. J.J. Watt. Oh, wait, that's a different one. I'm thinking of another Watt. J.J. Watt owns Burnley. There's so, there's so many Watts. He owns Burnley. Yeah. Yeah, he, he was good. Calvin Johnson. Megatron. <laughs> yeah, Alexia Alexis. Alexis. Okay, that 56. is. 56. Or Alexia. I don't know what that Eight-time is. La Liga champion. Eight-time Copa de la Reina winner. 
Cup of the Ray, three-time Champions League winner, Champions League player of the season, World Cup winner, two-time Ballon d'Or winner, two-time best FIFA Women's Player of the Year. Okay, on the list, yes. This high up, no. Yeah. I mean, if you get if you put her up that high, you got to put someone like Ronaldo Lazario higher than exactly, exactly. Yeah. I'm Luka curious. Modric. I honestly am curious where some of the women's players are going to be. Well, I mean, Alexis Alexa Pateas, like the only other women's player that could be higher than her would be other like some of the some of the U- USA women's players, like Megan Rapinoe. Would, yeah, Megan Rapinoe or Alex Morgan and stuff like that, or um, Sam Kerr. Those are the only Sam other... Sam surely, surely will not be that high up. Because she's still very young and has done not, not a lot. Yeah, I know, but people... I think, I think Ale- or, uh, Alex Morgan will be, that, will be high up. And then Megan Rapinoe will probably be very high up because she won a Ballon d'Or. Mm, yeah. Probably. Steve Nash. Isn't that the last one? Okay, so the obvious people who are going to be on the list. LeBron. Steph Curry will probably be top mm. ten. Um... I mean, you got. I mean, there's still so many basketball legends that aren't even named on here. Shaq, yet. Shaq, Kobe, LeBron, Michael Jack, Michael, not Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan. No, Michael Jordan. <laughs> he didn't play. He oh, retired yeah, yeah, he for 2000. So, oh, I mean, he played that one season, 2003. But would Shaq be on here then? Yeah, he. Uh, he. I think when he came in the league in like '96. Okay, yeah. So majority of his career is probably post 2000, then, or at least like his Lakers career definitely was. May actually, he may have started in a little bit earlier. But still, I I know for fact he Dwayne Wade should be on here. Yeah. Obviously, the obvious Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, Messi, Kareem Benzema should honestly be on here. Probably. Do you think Lewandowski? If he had gotten that Ballon d'Or, if he did, definitely probably would have. Ninety was drafted to the Magic in ninety two. Oh my bad. So then, still, when did I he, still think he should be on here. Well, then when did he retire? Uh. 2012. I know he played for the Celtics for a little bit. 2011. So 20 around 2012 probably then. So then yeah, I mean his majority of his Lakers career was into 2000, so he'll probably yeah. be on there. Um um Tom Brady. Oh, Tom Brady would probably be top. Patrick Mahomes. Tom Brady would probably be like top 3. Yeah, probably top 5 or something like that. Yeah. And with Patrick Mahomes would probably be like top 10. Tiger would be up there. Tiger Woods, yep. Um, Michael Phelps. Mike, Michael Phelps. Yeah, Michael Phelps. I was thinking Sean White, but yeah, Michael Sean Phelps. White was on there. Well, yeah, he's he was already on here, but yeah, Michael Phelps would probably definitely be up there. Um, what's her face? Simone Biles. Yeah, Simone Biles would be on there. Uh, let's see. Mm, uh, what's the the boxer dude? Uh, Logan Paul. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Paul. <laughs> no, uh, the one Conor that they, McGregor. The, Conor McGregor will be up there, and um, the other boxer, the guy. Russian. From from Kabib uh, or Khabib? Oh yeah, no the boxer the uh, the dude that Floyd Logan, Mayweather. Yeah, Floyd Mayweather would be on there. I think hey, all of his stuff is before four two thousand. He's old. He's like fifty now. Yeah, he, he's not that. Maybe say like saying Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson was definitely older. Wayne Rooney maybe. Above Iniesta and Ronaldo and them. If he hasn't been on here yet. Think about how good he he's quoted as the best English player of all time. Yeah, and he didn't win anything. Zidane waits. He's old, too old for that. Yeah, like his. <laughs> well, no, because like his first World Cup was the '98 World Cup. His final World Cup was like 2006. It's possible then. So he could be on there. I just get confused with some of the years. Yeah. You but, think Giannis would be on here? I mean. He's a two-time Jokic the, 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 surely the, should be on here. Jokic will definitely be on here, but the I mean the fact that they put like Paul George on here, not Paul George, Chris Paul on here, then they should put they Giannis. should put Giannis on here. I mean, two-time good. MVP, defensive player of the year, yeah, champion. Um, who else? Um, what's the Federer the tennis player? Oh, Roger Federer. Yeah. Uh, then Lewis Hamilton surely will be on here. Oh, uh, Lewis Hamilton, Matt Christmas, Max Verstappen. Yeah, Max Verstappen will be on here. Max Verstappen would probably be higher than Lewis Hamilton. Me and him, or not me and him, um, Megan Rapinoe would definitely be on here. Megan Serena Pino. Williams, 100%. I mean, her, her sister's on here, and she's better than her sister, so. Should I'm be. trying to think who, I'm trying to go through every sport. Yeah, me too. Aaron Judge. Mm, yeah. 
there any other basketball players that'll be on here? Um, uh, we got LeBron, Steph, Jokic, Jokic, Baby Giannis, Dwayne Wade for sure. Oh yeah, Tim Shaq, Dunk. With Tim Duncan, Tim Duncan, one hundred percent. Tim yeah. Duncan will be on here. Yeah. Uh. I mean, if Kawhi is on there, Tim Duncan's going to be there. Do they, maybe Manu. To- Manu, uh, Manu Ginobili. I was about to say Kobe Manu. Do you think <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Gareth Bale, Bale will be on here? He doesn't That's really have a personal good question, stats. Cause like, he, like, he wasn't the best of the front three arg- that can be argued, but like he still won all that stuff. Uh, they wouldn't have won a, several Champions League wasn't for him. Yeah, exactly. if my dad can name them as a soccer player, then they deserve to be on here because he <laughs> loves Gareth Bale. Really? He all the time he'd be like Bale he, all the time. Do so you watch LAFC with him? Honestly, I was kind of pissed when because I didn't want them to win. I hate all <laughs> LA teams in every single sport. But he assisted the final goal, didn't he? I think he scored the header. Oh, he scored. Yeah, he the scored winner? the header at one. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I thought that he was hit. such a shit final. Honestly, I hate the MLS. I love it, I love the MLS, but I hate that their games are not neutral for the final. It I hate that it's at a home stadium. Yeah, well, like it's it's that's I'm in I'm the same boat, but I can understand with the argument that they're they're rewarding the best team. Like you were the best team the entire season, so you reward you with the home field advantage. But at the same time, at the same time, that's just putting the other team at an even worse disadvantage. That you might as well just be rigging the final then. Yeah, you both made it to the finals for a reason. Yeah. Now, we- in basketball, I understand it because mm-hmm. it, it's a series. And obviously, like in the Premier League and league, like leagues that don't have a playoff system, like they, I mean, every team has a home game. So obviously, like it counts. Um, I don't know. It's just, I feel, wish that they would just put like a either. Do like the Super Bowl and they choose a venue or just build a specific stadium in the middle of the country and just put it there. Just play every play all the finals in Las Vegas like they've, they've been doing recently. Yeah, there's no Vegas team in the MLS. I mean, there's the Las Vegas Lights in the USL Championship. But I don't know. I just feel I don't think it should be in Vegas because then it's not accustomed to the East team. That's true. But then what's the most centered, like Texas? I don't know. Or just get rid of... Just build a random stadium in the middle of Colorado? <laughs> well, they got... Well, to be fair, I said they have the Rapids, but the Rapids are never going to make it to the final. <laughs> um, I was going to say just get rid of the playoff system, but then again, if they just do the point system, it's going to be horrible because of just how one-sided it is every single year. It's never like a, oh, who's going to win it on points? You know, like Man City and Liverpool every single year. Mm-hmm. It's literally like, there's always a team that wins it by about 30 points. I mean, you see... You see and then that team never wins it. Yeah, I was about to say, like, you see, like, like the Toronto, Red. they they were never, like, they are barely in the top five, but they always won it. Yeah, like, the Revs, they, last year, had the most... Or was it either last year or the year before, they had the most points. I think they, they set the record, I'm pretty sure. Nothing. And then... The only team I can even recall that won the supporter shield and won the league was Atlanta. Actually, yeah. I'm pretty sure that year. No, I mean that uh, Atlanta. New team, York won the supporter shield that year. That Atlanta team should probably be hailed as like one of the greatest MLS teams of all time. I'm so proud to say that I saw them in person because I've heard their games are just not the same anymore. Oh, like yeah. no, they're like because I went to their semi-final game the first leg of the semi-final game when they played in new york uh the year they won it craziest environment i've ever been in my entire life and i mean i think it totaled like ninety thousand. i knew it was the, it was the attendance record because it was mm. cool i was in the attendance record for a little bit until charlotte destroyed it but um they and I've, from what i've seen they they get about thirty thousand less people every single game now but i mean it's their whole front office is a dumpster fire now because their um, GM or what I forget, President uh, Darren Eels, he actually went to Newcastle, which is very interesting because we know how Newcastle's running nowadays. Yeah. Hmm. Do you think Pirlo will be on the list? Yeah, he should. Bob Pogba? No. Sadly, no. I love Paul Pogba. If, if he would have, he would have been in like the 100 through 50 if he was. Luis Suarez for sure. Luis Suarez would probably be on there. Hazard? No. Kevin Abrana for sure. 
Kevin De Bruyne probably should be Felipe on there. Felipe Coutinho? No. No. Well, Luis Suarez. Yeah, he, I guess. Raul? No, Raul is too old. Like Raul Jimenez? I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, Ochoa? No, no, I can make a case for Ochoa being up there. I mean, I could too, but I don't think he. Sh- I don't think he will be though. <laughs> no. What it's ESPN making it. They're not going to hail a Mexican player. No, of course not. I mean, they were- who's the Mexican fighter? Ryan Garcia. Yeah, you see, he's banned for a year. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. I mean, he's an idiot. So he's the only person I've ever been. I've ever seen in my entire life put that much gel in their hair and still look so good. <laughs> Well, but yeah, no, he, he's, he's pretty dumb. So did you see his apology, like his video where he, he was like, he was just getting his friend in the background to be like, yeah, what? Like he wasn't even saying anything, but he was like, why would I ever use PEDs? And the dude was just like, <laughs> what? it was like, and all the comments were like, yeah, I believe this because of the dude in the back said so. But like, what was it? like, what a shitty just apology video just to get you and two of your friends to just sit on stools in the background while you're like, why would I ever dope? And then he so, got, and then he got <laughs> guilty. <laughs> it's so stupid. I think it's hilarious. And, and, and I remember when, like, leading up to that fight or something like that, like all his cryptic tweets and stuff like that. He's like, he got hacked and stuff like that. And he's like, I'm like, what's wrong with this, this guy? Always, definitely has a mental disability or something. It's always funny when someone posts the weirdest thing on on social media, and then they always use the hacked ex- <laughs> excuse, <laughs> like. They just post weird stuff and then they oh, I got hacked, I got hacked. I got hacked, I swear. <laughs> Should we address the fact that Ian's not here? I mean, I guess so. I mean So Ian was our co host. He still is our co host. Yeah. But uh so basically he fell in love with this dude mm-hmm. and they are currently are in Santa Monica. Mm. Just making love on the beach just day in, day out. Ian got really, really into heroin. Mm-hmm. Um he's in therapy right now. And he should be back pretty soon. Yeah. We had to Britney Spears him, so he actually has no rights anymore. Yeah. But when he comes back, he... He'll have to sign a waiver, but... Yeah, he's excited to come back. He'll be back. He'll be back. Yeah, I mean, like, it's been a long time. We wanted to get an episode out. And, yeah. But it's not like he's gone forever. No, no, no. Just until the court says he can come out. Yeah. Make, yeah. Until just until the court's going to roll. Just, just until Judge Judy says that he can come back. Oh, yeah. Uh, brought me back to, I told you my license was suspended. Oh, uh, yeah. What's the story on that? <laughs> so, freaking, so I got caught speeding going to Nashville when I went to go to the Miami game. Um, that was so long ago. How did I hear about this? March. Well, it's because all this happened within the last month. And um, the main <laughs> stuff. So, but, so they issued a court date for me to go. And, um... Court date was on a day where I had to go for the wedding mm. that I had to go to. So I was, and I was trying to reschedule it, but they told me I couldn't reschedule it. So I'm like, well, then I guess fuck me, I guess. What are you doing that? Um, scenario? well, now I know. I didn't know then, but now I know is that, well, you're supposed to pay off the ticket anyways, but you don't have to pay the court fees, which is an additional like $300. Jesus. Yeah. Like that's the court fees is more than your speeding ticket will ever be. So anybody out there, I recommend just paying your speeding ticket. You can go to the court date and then they'll set you up with the classes and then it won't affect your driver license. But if, if this is like your first ticket or like you only get tickets every other year, just pay the ticket. It's not worth it because the ticket will be like 200 or dollars or less. The court fee will add an extra $300 just to go there. So the judge will tell you whatever BS and then you leave. Like they don't do anything there. Um, But I wasn't able to go, and apparently if you don't go and you don't pay off your ticket within a month after the court date, your license will be suspended. And then, but the thing is, they sent the letters that was supposed to tell me what happened since I missed the court date to the house I lived in in Nashville. Mm. And it was during the time when all the wedding stuff was happening. Yeah. So the family there wasn't able to send me, let me know until... <laughs> A month later. Yeah. And so my license is already suspended. And then, but as far as I know, I'm getting everything situated, so it will be okay. But so I had to pay a reinstatement fee and I had to 
apparently I, I was supposed to turn in my license, but I didn't know. Yeah. So I have to pay another like seventy five dollars. How much is this totaling up to be? It's totaling up to be around five hundred, probably five five hundred dollars. And, but the thing is, like, they sent it to the address in Nashville when I never changed my address. And they, they told me the letter should be sent on the address that's on your driver's license. It's like, yeah, it's the one I live in right now. I never changed my address. I don't know why it said getting sent over there. And I called them earlier today and they were telling me, well, you need to change your address. I'm like, but I never changed my address. It was like, well, you have to change your address now. I'm like, but I never changed it. I sh- it should still be the same. But so they're like, they were being a bunch of bitches. And then yeah. I, I think, I, I don't know whoever it was, but. I think they got like anxiety because like listen to me. I'm like I'm not even yelling. Like I, I was I was talking like this like like I was this this is the problem. I was like but I never switched my address and stuff like yeah. And then she started like freaking out on me as if I was yelling at her. And I'm just like I'm not, I don't even want to talk to this bitch anymore. She's useless. It's like you have to go to the website and change it. I'm like but I like at the gun bar. Yeah. We have TBI. Yeah. Their their information where it shows their address and stuff like that. I type in my driver's license number. Same address that I'm living in now. So how they even get the national one? I don't know. I, the only time, the only like incident that I got over there was when I got in a car accident and they, they asked me where I'm living in now. And I told them, this isn't, this is just a temporary residence. This is not my like permanent residence. Yeah. And they're like, oh, okay then. And so they know, and they, but they like, they never sent me anything anyways. So I think they changed my address or something like that, but they never sent me anything anyways. But it's not registered as my permanent address either. My yeah. permanent address is still my normal address. So then I'm just like, what the fuck then? So they the, they screwed me over. Yeah, they really did. And now I'm having to pay for it because they don't know how to fix their freaking crap. And But it's getting situated. And then I sent, I paid off the citation. And I, I, I'm supposed to provide proof. And... I paid it off online, so I just screenshotted the email. Yeah, that had this uh, like an ID, status approved, paid in full amount, turned it in, and they they said it's been rejected because it's not legible. I'm like, what the fuck does that even I'm mean? Not, how's it? I, I have the worst handwriting right in the world. How's it not legible? It's a fucking I never email. Had an issue. Wait, what? It was like this. Like this is the, here. I'll show you the. I'll show you exactly. Wait, you sent it as an email? No, I, like you're you're supposed to like the, on the link. There's a link. It says, um, like turn in yeah, form yeah. or whatever like that. You could put in PDFs, yeah. JPEGs, or whatever like that to turn them in, and that's how I did it. And this is the this is the picture I sent. That that's the screenshot I sent. How the hell is that not legible? Yeah, you see the uh, citation not payment ID, payment amount, payment amount paid. You know, it's, it's, are just trying to get you. It's all there, yeah. And then, like they, yeah, they rejected it. And then I'm just like, and so then I called them asking, why the hell? What do what? What do I have to turn in then? Yeah, I have a freaking email yeah. saying that I've been paid. It's paid and everything like that. Not good enough. It's like, well, you have to get then. You have to get the court to fax us the thing that you that you paid it off. I like, hate I hate systems like that. They just. It's like there's an easy way, but they want you to take the hard way. Yeah, that just the, makes like, money. the fact that they're the ones that sent me the letter. That had the court, that had my citation ID, how much the ticket was, like, that they the ones that sent it. Not the court, the Tennessee yeah. Department, whatever. They're the ones that sent it to me. If you can figure that out, surely you can figure out yourself whether or not I paid it off already. I'm telling you, this is why it's the worst date. Yeah. So, I'm just like, so, it's, it's annoying. I'm going to have to call them back again to figure out why the fuck they're sending my stuff to there again. Hopefully, I get someone else that's more useful and that's so frustrating yeah so it's very annoying um i was driven here from some by someone else i didn't drive here myself but um yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, how much for, uh, what was your, the like how fast were you going well let see this is what happened i was on the right lane and i was driving i was reaching knoxville i was like just the outside of Nox- knoxville like when you just get off i i-81 and it turns into i-40 yeah and um there was an asshole who was riding my ass on the right lane trying to cut weaving through traffic and he was just riding my ass because he was just stuck where he was at that point and there was a semi truck on the left and i was going like 75 already but i was going faster than a truck i'm like i'm not in a rush or anything like that so i don't really care so i was only going like 75 but then he was just I'm like, okay, then this guy's just gonna keep riding my ass and then I'm just gonna speed up up to like eighty three. 
just so I can get to pass the semi truck and then he can yeah. fucking go. Yeah. There was a cop there as soon as I reached like 80. Oh, jeez. And then the dude just got the other dude that behind me got away. And then the cop stopped me. And then they're like, why are you going so fast? Like, well, there was a white SUV yeah. behind me who was riding me. And I just wanted to get him off of me. So I sped up so he can finally go around the semi truck. And then it was a state trooper. And I think it was a new guy because there was another dude behind him, like watching over his shoulder, make, I yeah. guess making sure he does new stuff. So I was like, well, I'm going to get State troopers fuck- take it serious. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I'm going to get a fucking ticket. So I know that much. So yeah, I got that. That's the ticket I got. And I'm that's like, frustrating. So yeah. how, wait, so you were going, it was a 70 and you were going 83. Is that what you said? Yeah. So 13 over. Mm-hmm. See, that's the thing that pisses me off about speed limits is I understand them, yeah, but they're but, all situational. Yeah. There's situational things. And the fact that you, in, in that road, everyone's going fucking 80 on that highway. Exactly. Like, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. And when you're on a busy interstate and everyone is going super yeah, fast like when you, you go in, just... when you go into nashville like literally the the slowest person going into nashville is going 90 miles per hour it's it's st- like okay driving is all especially with speed is all situational i would rather get a ticket than like like if you're trying to get like if you keep on seeing like a semi truck like get into your lane and stuff like that and you want to speed past them i'd rather get a ticket than get smooshed into the freaking thing it's all situational mm-hmm. so and but state troopers take it seriously. Like, there's no, and then there's like, because that's like their sole job. It is their job, but like, you gotta, you gotta understand. It's like, okay, the situation. Like, I told him that SUV was riding my ass, and like, I, I was scared. Like, I didn't know what the fuck. Yeah, he could, he could would, have hit me and stuff. I, I just, I hate. That's one thing I hate getting my ass ridden because if someone in front of you, and you it's know, when you're getting stops, your ass ridden you're when screwed. you're on the right lane too. Like, I was on the very right lane. The third right oh, lane. Oh, jeez. And if you're getting ass ridden on that lane, that's the even more fucking annoying part. But busy interstates, when there is literally no way that you can go slow without screwing up the interstate because there's just so many people on there and you just have to go fast because it's, you just have to. It's frustrating that people get put over for that. And there's so many instances of that too. Mm-hmm. Like even in driver's ed, I remember when I took driver's ed, they told us they were like, go the speed limit unless you literally can't. And like, just like like they were talking about how like people like cops usually just judge the flow you just gotta judge the flow of it that's frustrating i'd be so mad yeah. that whole situation is annoying yeah so I'm, well thank I'm, god jordy drove you here yeah thank rest in peace jordy i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah no but eventually i'll get it all situated that's frustrating yeah. well now you can't buy a gun i can I still can you still can yeah with a suspended license well the licenses i just can't drive what an interesting country i know it's a state interesting state yeah but yeah i can't i can't drive but my license still works otherwise i couldn't buy a beer or whatever like that it's just if my license gets expired Mm. because like i like i typed in my id to tbi well i was just keeper and like i just typed it into tbi and yeah it's popped up fine didn't say anything so it's uh it's it's okay and tennessee is one of the um, states where every person has one id number I don't know how it works for out of the states, but like your identification only um, license thing, your gun permit, your driver's license, all that other stuff. It's the same number on every single one. So that's why it's like, yeah, it doesn't really matter whether or not like I can still use my driver's license as long as it's not expired. We should get Keeper on here. He would have so many interesting stories. That'd be so much fun. You know what I hate though Mm -hmm. is that we were supposed to have Allison on here. Oh yeah, because she remember, she uh she would literally she was like what set up a time and I was like I told her when she was she was our, like our next guest after someone mm-hmm. hey we never got to have her on here yeah so for those of you who don't know know Allison was one of our coworkers and a friend who has recently passed away yep huge viewer of this podcast she 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 loved our podcast she would always say whenever when's the next episode and stuff like that she watched them all yeah with her girlfriend so we just want to take this time and say you know. For real, no jokes aside, rest in peace. Major, majorly, mm-hmm. very and depressing news. Yeah, loved her. And I will say, all our coworkers at a job, they all feel the same. That they're all sad, and everything. And we hope that she's in a better place. And yeah, I hope her family's okay. Hope yeah. everyone related to her is okay. Yeah, obviously, I mean, we weren't best friends with her, so we don't know the whole yeah. thing. But it is very sad when someone so, your age. Someone our age, someone that we've been working with for almost two years. Yeah, I forgot it was a long time. Yeah. So you just see every day and then Yeah. Literally worked with her the the day before and yeah. 
where I got off was off one day, which was the day it happened, came in the next day. And then I was just told and I'm like, damn, okay. And yeah, a lot of our coworkers, some of them actually knew her really well. So there are, some of them are taking it pretty hard and yeah, but rest in peace mm. up here in a better place. Yeah. Okay, that's it for today's episode. Thank you all for listening, and we hope you guys keep listening to any of the future content and videos that we'll keep uploading whenever we can. Thank you very much.